Hello, in this video I'm going to explain when you can take moments about anywhere and when you cannot take moments about anywhere. So let's have here a uniform rod, 8 meters long and it's experiencing two forces, 3 newtons here and 3 newtons here. If you calculate the net moment about this end of the rod, you are going to get 6 newton meters, 3 times 2. Huh? If you calculate the net moment about the CG of the rod, you are going to get, again, 6 newton meters clockwise. If you calculate the net moment about the left end of the rod, you are still going to get 6 newton meters clockwise. In fact, you can choose your pivot to be anywhere. You will still calculate the net moment to be 6 newton meters clockwise. Now let's increase one of the forces to be 6 newtons instead. Now if you calculate the moment about x, about the cg and about y, you are going to get different results. What's happening? Is this rod going to rotate clockwise, not rotate or anti-clockwise? I have a mathematical proof here. Uh, it involves some um, vector algebra which means you don't have to know this for exam purposes. Huh? Anyway, uh, this is the moment evaluated about x1 and this is the moment evaluated about x2. So x2 is shifted from x1 by this amount delta x. So it can be shown mathematically that when you shift your pivot point by delta x, then the net moment is going to change by this amount here. This means that if your net force is zero, then this term is also zero, which means the net moment about x1 and x2 are the same. So that's the idea, that the net moment evaluated about any point is the same if and only if net force is zero. So coming back to the example we started out with, do you notice that net force is zero? 3 newtons one way and 3 newtons the other way. So if net force is zero, you can calculate the total moment about any point you want. Mathematically, you arrive at the same outcome. When we increase one of the forces to, to 6 newtons, then net force is no longer zero. In fact, we have a net force of 3 newtons up. Huh? So if net force is not zero, then depending on where you choose your pivot points to be, the net moment will be calculated to be a different value. When net force is not zero, you must evaluate the moments about the CG. Evaluating the moments about any other point will give you the wrong outcome. It's only when net force is zero that you have the luxury and the freedom to choose to evaluate your net moment about any point and mathematically, you know that you arrive at the same answer. Okay, that's all. Ta-ta!